What's up, everybody? It's Johnny Brown. here with Hot Scene. It's um, Tuesday night. It's 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. You are where you should be watching Haunt Scene Live, America's favorite Tuesday night haunted attraction show. With me, as always, my lovely co-host, Melissa Lukak, is here. I'm joining here. me. And I'm I'm really happy about that. I'm happy that you're here. Hi guys, thank you. I'm happy to be here. You Johnny. haven't you haven't thank been here in so me. long. It's been it's been it's been since like Thursday. four days. Yes. Awesome. Hey guys, how's it going? Thank you for tuning in to Hansing Live as uh, always. Please share. Uh, do all the things. Share out to all the places. I know that uh, we have a lot of similar you know friends, and they might want to watch the show too. Uh, we also share have Jenny in the places. show tonight. Hi guys! Hey Jenny, we What's can up, actually babe? hear Jenny this week. Yay! Yay! Everybody can hear me. Hey, yep. hey Jenny, yeah. what what shirt are you wearing? I am wearing a shirt. What by is that? Hansen. Talk yeah. less, haunt more. Talk sure. less, haunt oh, man. more. Who came up with that? I think a guy named Johnny Bronson. Yeah, that guy did, and, yeah. then, and then Tyler, and our it's... Tyler, designed it. Yes. So you can get that Very on nice. our shop if you want to. Yes, you can. And it's we, on Hauntseat.com. Yeah, Hauntseat. we don't we don't make any Hauntseat. money, so we Hauntseat. have it as cheap as you can get it. Believe me. <laughs> Sorry, Jenny. Jenny can't speak today. Yep. <laughs> Listen here. So she has a hard time with words. We have a, an awesome, a special guest, and um, we've run in the same circles for years and years and years. And uh, I will admit, I thought like I did lots of haunts and things, and I knew what was going on. Uh, but this person is the is probably responsible for like the most comprehensive guide to Orlando in like the state of Florida. It's insane. Um, let's go ahead and bring her on here. Uh, that's gonna be Yay! Miss Dina Bina. Oh, well, hold on, hold on. I gotta unmute you. I told you I gotta right. unmute. <laughs> That I unmuted you now. You're good. Hey. Yay! You're all good. Hello, everybody. So hi. say hi to everybody. Hello. Hello. Happy 60 days to Halloween. Oh my god. We're that close. 60 days out? Wow. That's crazy. This year, yeah. like, this, this year like was dragging for the longest time. It was, yeah. Until sudden, we hit August. Yeah, and then it was like fast and then forward. August just flew by. Yeah. Mm, you know why? Happen? Because all the Halloween stuff started showing up in the stores and we don't have any money. <laughs> not anymore. Not, any not anymore. Yeah, we spent it, it all. I spent it all. <laughs> I, I keep spending it too. Nice. I got a problem. Uh, Me too. I, I do. I do too. So let's do this. What we'd normally do at the beginning of the show for for Hunting Live is we allow our guests to do the elevator pitch. Like, who are you? What are you up to? What do you represent? All that good stuff. And so go ahead and tell tell America. All right. Tell America who who Dina is. Hello, America. <laughs> uh, my name is Dina Bina, and I have my hands in lots of different pots. And many of them are Halloween related. I run Halloween Guide Orlando, which is uh, a baby to me that I created back in, I believe, 2014 um, to share all the Halloween stuff because I love going everywhere, seeing everything, doing everything that's haunt, spooky, Halloween. I love it. And there's got to be more people like me. So I started that. I also work with Spooky Empire going on 10 years. Wow. Um, and, and I do a little bit of everything there. Uh, if you see me, you probably see me running back and forth. <laughs> uh, but I love it. I, it was the first convention I ever went to. And within, let's see, that was 2006. And I started working for them in 2010 and haven't stopped since. I also work for the Orlando Fringe. And uh, that keeps me busy as well, normally. Love uh, of course, this year we canceled. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sad. sad not going this year. As yeah. everything else in my life canceled or postponed this year. But that's a little bit about who I am. I freaking love Halloween and haunt and scary and spooky and art. As you can see, I've got some of my art displayed behind me. Um, I also run a site called 30 Day Horror Movie Challenge, which was just something fun I did once. And uh, we, we do little Zoom casts on there, too. We just started doing that. We're not nearly as fancy as Hans. Well, well, thank you. But we're well, fine. Yeah, but, 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 but not that you're not. Yeah. But, but your your directory puts ours to shame. Like, yeah, that's what nice You have, like, everything. There's yeah. stuff I've never you know, even heard of on there. I just, I look, and then I'll find something, or I'll meet somebody. I mean, I just found out. I'm super excited. I might be jumping the gun. But another new haunt attraction is on its way to Central Florida what? called Infected. 
And, and I just it. talked to one of the producers like 30 minutes before the show. Nice. And I've got it added to the calendar. And it's an audio immersive haunt experience. Oh, cool. So oh, yeah. think of like a silent rave, a silent disco and haunt experience. That's cool. Mm -hmm. So I'm very excited. I mean, super excited about that. That's pretty that. cool, very actually. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Like I said, I added that to Exclusive. the Helen Guy Orlando. Right here. Yeah. More. Yes. More. More. Share it with the Yeah. Nice. That's cool. Yeah. We yeah. have. Uh, we're actually gonna. We're gonna show off the directory a little bit. Um, Please. There's some really neat things on there. Uh, and uh, it was funny because there's a lot of familiarity. We have a lot of the same friends and things like that. So that's yeah. really cool. Awesome. So let's do this. We have questions. So we're going to switch over to our slideshow. That's that's story time for Dina. There we go. That's what we want to do right there. So let's let's start off with Spooky Empire because we've been going yeah. for years. Mm -hmm. uh, we love everybody involved. Uh, I would probably consider ourselves part of the, the Spooky family now. Definitely. Definitely. They've Definitely. adopted us. It, it is like just a going. great show. It yes. is. It just it's is. so much fun. It, it just it has um, everything. And like I said, my first one was 2006. I found out about it because I was working part-time at a Halloween store to get the discount. <laughs> um, of course. And I found a flyer. And Gunnar Hansen was one of the guests that year. And I was just like, oh, I can meet Leatherface. Oh, so I cool. went, not understanding what a convention was. So I missed the vast majority of it. But I loved it so much that the very next year, I bought a VIP ticket and a hotel room, even though I live in Orlando. And I, I've been in love with it ever since. And that's but I could see that there were things that needed to be worked out. And I reached out to PD and uh, eventually got, I didn't mean to get a job, but I, cause I'm like, let me help you. Uh, I ended up getting a job. <laughs> so it's a great show. Nice. Yeah. It's one of the few shows that you know the person behind it. Yeah. And you can talk to all of us. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody you know? is really approachable. Yeah. 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 Like a lot of the other shows, and I'm not talking bad about other shows, but you don't know who's behind them. So you can't be like, hey, uh, I have a problem or I have an idea or, you know, we're, but Spooky Empire, we're all there. Our faces are sometimes on merchandise. Yep. I, yeah. um, I've got PD's Starbucks you know. cup up there. Right. Oh, right it's one of the, it's head. so good, right? Yeah. Oh, he even had a pop vinyl. Yeah. That I thought was really cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's, I love it. I love it. And yeah. I can't wait to be back in my Spooky Empire home. Yeah. I, we we yes. can't wait either. You we know, miss it was everybody a, too. It, it sucks that it's not going on this it year. It was, yeah, a huge, a huge It was the right thing to do. We yeah. all know it. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. We, we agree. Yeah. We totally but I'm agree sure you guys were like me, my heart and my brain were, mm -hmm. I mean, they were hardcore oh, yeah. battling. Yeah. 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 Uh, gotta be, you know, it's uh, gotta take a step back to take steps forward, especially with what's going on. Yep. Yeah. So, so true. Yep. And we'll be, we'll be back a hundred percent next year for sure. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yep. Nice. So why don't you, uh, so, uh, what's spooky and everything? What's been your favorite celebrity, uh, and, or your favorite celebrity moment that you've had? Oh my gosh. Um, uh, oh, take your there's time. Been take so your time. Many, yeah. <laughs> so many crazy moments with spooky celebrities. One of my really favorite ones, and I hold it so close to my heart, is with Bill Hensman, who was the number one zombie from Night of the Living Dead. Mm -hmm. He became, he was at every single one of our shows. Mm -hmm. And he became kind of more of a friend than a celebrity for me. But I, I remember opening the celebrity room at nine in the morning, and he was already setting up at his table. And I was like, um, excuse me for beating me into the room. And he looks up at me without missing a beat, and he goes, I bet you weren't asleep at the hot tub at five o'clock this morning either, were you? <laughs> and I mean, that was just the kind of guy he was, you know, he hung out with the fans and, uh, you know, entertained the ladies and he was just such a genuine person and, and still always maintained professionalism, you know, when he was on the clock. So that was probably one of my all time favorites. Um, and I have a, a, a big portrait that Sid Graves did that is in my hallway because uh, I just I just love it and I have a finger puppet bill too that I usually carry around everywhere with me as mm. kind of good luck yeah nice. but that's one of my favorites um I think another favorite was working with the Stranger Things kids oh yeah oh, I, uh, I met them yeah oh my god they were so cool so and nice 
Yes. So sweet and, and so genuine. And I yes. love it. Yeah. yeah. And they really kind of flipped the script on their own by asking if they could bring their chair from behind the table to in front of the table. That's, yeah. Because that's they great. wanted to interact with their yeah. fans. Mm -hmm. And that was so refreshing to see. And yeah. so many people could learn. I mean, well, we should say pre COVID. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, yes. Yes. You know. Uh, but that was really cool to see and to see just super smart young people. Yeah. And I they know. all were the whole gang of them. Some were a little more shy yeah. or reserved, but as a whole, they were so impressive. Oh, yeah. Like I saw uh, Noah. Noah was, he, he came up from behind the table and, and, and stood in front on the side of the table, shaking people's hands and, and mm -hmm. greeting well, them and stuff, which I thought was great. I met Millie mm -hmm. and Millie actually, me and my mom went. And um, my mom was like, loves Millie. And she was like, I just love you. You're so great. And she goes, can I come around and hug you, please? Aww. And she did. She came around and she hugged me and my mom. And, and I met Dustin. And yes, they were all just so mm -hmm. sweet. So, so cute. Sweet. They were. They were. Very That's awesome. And just such a breath of fresh air. Yes. In the convention circuit. I hope that they can maintain that and, and yes. still, you know, navigate Hollywood. Right, mm -hmm. right. Because, you know, that's tough. It, yeah. yeah. So I, I got to ask, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to forget, you got to talk about the necklace. Talk about the necklace, the one they're wearing. Oh, this necklace that I'm wearing right here. That is so cool. <laughs> is, yes, this is, really is by cool. Luna Moon Gothic. She's a dear friend of mine, oh, and I love, love her, her dearly. Yep, we love her. And it's a screen-accurate Lily Munster necklace, and I decided oh. to wear it because today is Yvonne DiCarlo's birthday. Perfect. Right. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Lily Munster. That's nice. So I have, yeah, I have a huge collection of everything. Uh, art, jewelry, anything that's hard, dark, I love it. I have, nice. I have one of our Spooky Empire necklaces on. Hannah Sioko. Uh, oh. So Kira and Ashley representing. Yep. That's right. Yep. So you're involved in many things. I got a couple pictures here. I got one special yeah. for uh -oh. Melissa too. All right. So special we got some, some stuff. Take a look at that picture. <laughs> what is it? Is that a spider? Yeah, yeah that's a spider. spider. That, oh that is goodness. a spider. That's that was gracious. part of a costume piece. Um, of, uh, I'm not um, even going to look at it. I'm going to have a panic attack. I can't remember. It, it's a statue that the person cosplayed as. And of course, I'm totally forgetting her name right now. It starts with an L. But that was part of her costume, and I was hauling it for storage oh, <laughs> I, I have before to know. the costume contest. And I'm like, somebody's like, can I take your picture? I'm like, uh, yeah. Does that thing move? Does it crawl? Yeah, ride. well, it had wheels. Oh my goodness! So as you pulled it, it did kind of go back and forth just by its natural. <laughs> I would have died. Melissa, oh, hates it was spiders. really cool, and I hate bugs, but I'm like, yeah, I'll walk with spiders. I I have a huge arachnophobia, so that that probably would have killed oh. me if I saw that crawling down the hallway. You would have forget it. Well, girl, let me tell you, don't go zip lining because that's where I got over my fear of spiders when I was up in the trees doing oh, the ropes course. Oh, and you probably and it was oh, like oh, I can either fall off this this rope or <laughs> knock this spider out of my way oh my god girl at that point i'd rather die <laughs> <laughs> most of just like detaches herself Melissa, I'm you're, like, so I'm done. you're like i'm out <laughs> i'd rather die than run into a spider awesome. uh, wow i don't do that okay just take okay. the hit and okay. get the i'll take the hit okay jeez <laughs> nice and um jenny put together a little collage of yeah. just some things and we see some we see a lot of familiarity here oh the giant elvira yeah. Yeah. i remember her yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And that was Bora. that was the coolest i think we we're also going to ask you about like um see that dinner down there who is yes. everybody besides of course we see a couple people i i see <laughs> i'm a little jelly oh my god Paul Rubin. you Nick, can be yes <laughs> so nick and Paul Rubin. Well, we got we got to make sure we tell yeah, people, yeah. tell Nick America Catholic. if you don't know who these people are. Yes, you tell us, yeah. Tina. Well, I mean, the most, uh, uh, there's only two that you, you know, would know, yeah. which is Paul Rubens, who's also Pee Wee yeah. Herman. Right. And so many other amazing characters and uh, Nick Castle, who yeah. was yep. well, one I mean, of our I mean, you're, you're in that picture too, so yeah. don't cut yourself I am in that picture as well as my friend Omar and uh, Paul's assistant. And his security guy, That's and of awesome. course I've forgotten their names. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we we I, I worked with that group, uh, and also um, 
Oh my God. I should have taken better notes. I didn't know you were going to surprise me like this. <laughs> the guy that was on Sandlot that says, you're killing me small. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Patrick Renna. Yes. And Jody Benson and Chris. Uh, I worked with that group at oh. Fanboy Expo in Knoxville, and we, we just all went out to dinner. Yes, I love, oh, okay. I love that convention. I've been, yeah. I've been a few it years. It was a good time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's and awesome. it was very cool not running the whole thing mm-hmm. and just having to concentrate on a couple of people. <laughs> yeah, Fanboy is where I met um, Bruce Campbell uh, two, uh, about a year or two ago. Yep. Nice. Very nice guy. Bruce is a good guy. <laughs> mm-hmm. You talk about bringing the crowds, man. Bruce brings them. He's great. Oh, yeah. He's wonderful. I learned a lot working with him the first time he came to speak, which I want to say was 2011, maybe. Mm -hmm. I learned a lot from him. Like, and I was really nervous because everybody was like, he's, he's demanding and he's this and he's that. But when we met with him, he just said, this is what I expect. And I was like, done. Like, I would much rather somebody bring me their expectations and so that I can meet them versus, you know, why didn't you do this? And why right. didn't you do that? Yeah. yeah. So I really appreciate it. I, I really enjoyed working with them. Got Bora. We love, love Bora. Bora. Everybody loves Bora. Oh my goodness. We got to see him in Salem, Massachusetts yeah. last year. Oh, for Halloween. that's on my bucket list. Yeah. yeah. We'll it was yeah same. Yeah. Cool. Dina, let's go because I have a Yes. Yes. <laughs> let's go. I've never first been. Time. Me I, it's a little crazy in October. Like we, we is, went yeah. right around well, Halloween. I would probably try to hit it up in the off season. <laughs> yeah. I think that would be good. Or like I the just, beginning, maybe like normally September. I'm Central Florida, October. Yeah. Yeah. From beginning until pretty much the end. Yeah. But I do, I want to get up there so bad. Yeah. Just everything about it looks amazing. It's yeah. so beautiful. It, yeah, we went it's up there on so our beautiful. road trip last year. An and actual it was really fall cool. weather. Yeah. Color the leaves and all that. Yeah, it was great. <clears throat> nice. And then I think you got Howl Scream up here at the top, I'm thinking. Yep, Howl so. Scream. I think that was last year um, in the scare zone, the meat market. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Okay, yes. I remember that. And yeah, then, and then we got what's the where's Let's the clown the here clown. at the top left? Yeah. That is at a haunt in Chattanooga, Tennessee, called oh. Dread Hollow. Oh, okay. And it is amazing. Nice. And I I think I tagged you when you were talking about your road trip. Yep. Yeah. It's worth a trip. They have some tricks that I've never seen before, and I've done haunts like Netherworld and like I, I I've been around, and uh, Dread Hollow. It's good stuff, and it, it had me worried because it's in a strip mall, you know. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. And oh, I, mean. I had gone to a haunt the year before that was in a strip mall, and I'm not going to say any names because you know they tried their best, but it was, it was just not. It wasn't the. It same. was Halloween, it... <laughs> and I applaud them for putting effort. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, and I'm like, oh god, here we go again in the strip mall. <laughs> And Dread Hollow was just like boom, boom, smack, 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 and it was amazing. Wow. Yeah, we're uh, we're actually going through Tennessee in uh, November. We're going up to uh, so maybe if they're still open, maybe we can add them to the list. I don't know if they'll be open in uh, in November. I think they're pretty much September, October. Okay. Um, but they do usually a New Year's event and um, a, a spring break event. But you know everybody's calendars changing these days, so we'll we'll have to see. They are. I did see on their social media they are continuing for October, so that was good. Nice. We got Eric uh, Dodson from Ominous Descent in the chat. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, Dina is such an amazing person. Much love and respect oh, from hey, Ominous Descent. Eric. I love Ominous Descent. <laughs> so good, and I can't wait to see what they've got in coming store, up right? next year. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 same. Really Me excited. too. Nice. That was a haunt that I didn't. I really got sweaty palms going through, <laughs> and yeah. I loved it. Yeah, we, we went through last year. Yeah. Um, Did you go in the night in the rain? And we went, we went to... in the night in the rain. Yeah. Um, oh. and we were walking it was like in a the horror house, movie. And the rain was hitting. It was <laughs> yeah, it just was like a horror movie. It, it was well, so kind scary. of driving yeah. out there was like a horror movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> where where yeah. it's located, it's like like a horror movie out in the middle of nowhere. Well, now yeah. it'll be different locations, mm-hmm. so we'll see what that's like. That's right. Nice. So exciting. So I know that you have are involved in all this other stuff, but you also have other stuff you're involved in, right? These so, things. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah. So Total we got fancy. Stuff. We do oh, our we do our homework. We got it all. So, so, you guys have been spying on. We them. did. We stalked your Facebook. <laughs> So, well, Lunar Sky yeah. is the umbrella company. That's actually my husband's company. He's in IT, 
And then under Lunar Sky is Pink Hair Productions, which is me. Because like I said, I do, in other events that I've done, I've worked with Orlando Weekly, I've worked with the Downtown Arts District, um, Free Play Florida. I mean, I could just go on and on. Mm -hmm. And that usually falls under Pink Hair Productions. Okay. And then my feature creature is this, this um, greeting card <laughs> thing so that I started because I wanted Christmas cards that reflected me. And so, and I wish I were an artist. So what I do is I, I find an artist that I like, I pay them for their art and I utilize it to make Christmas cards. Like one of the very first designs was a Norman Reedus Daryl design with ears on a Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. And it says, do you hear what I hear? Wow. That's so funny. Wow. That's, that's, funny. Awesome. that's so funny. That's awesome. So I come up with the idea. I, you know, I yeah. go after an artist and then I create cool. a Christmas horror card. Nice. I, 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 I love great. how excited she is. I know. It's it's like infectious. It's like, like, oh. like us too, because we're always like, <laughs> yeah. we're, we're always so upbeat yeah. and, and happy. I love it. That's awesome. It was fun. Yeah. Like when I first launched it, I did a couple of normal events. And, uh, you know, like these ladies would approach my table. Oh, what do you have? And I'd be like, I've got horror Christmas cards. Yeah. <laughs> and they were just kind of like, Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, but uh, the people that love them, love them, and that's what I'm about. Yeah. I'm not going to get rich. I mean, I I wouldn't mind it. Yeah, right. right. Mm -hmm. Then I could travel more and spend more money on more arts and there you go. <laughs> um, But I just want things to make people happy and to be seen. You right. know. Right. Yeah. Nice. That's that's yeah. awesome. That is that is really. It's funny you say that because that's that's what we try to do. Just show, exactly. show people these things are out there, you know? We want to show exactly. people you know, what we love and what we love. It was like when I was talking to the Phoenix Tears production team, which is the one behind Infected. Mm -hmm. um, they've done some productions at the Orlando Fringe that I've actually gotten a chance to be a part of. So instantaneously, I was like, oh, I'm super excited about this. But to get people out of the Fringe world, and over to Halloween and to get the people at Halloween world over to Florida Film Festival mm -hmm. and to get the people at Florida Film Festival over to independent haunts. That's my dream mm -hmm. is to just open the doors and let people see all the things that are out there for us to enjoy. It, and you know, the Halloween guide goes year round because yeah. there's things, I mean, you might have to loosen it up. Maybe it's not a haunted house, right. but it's an oddity show. Right. right. Or the play about a serial killer. You know what I mean? Like, right. but there's so much stuff out there to enjoy. Now the Florida Film Festival, that's the one that that's, that's at the Indian, right? Yes. Okay. The Indian, and they actually just wrapped. Okay. Um, they had Joe Bob there. He had a night, uh, Redneck Safe Hollywood, I think was the name of his event. Uh, and I've seen some amazing films. Like I got to see Fido. Have you seen, have you guys seen that Fido? About the zombie that, in the fifties. That one I didn't see there. I oh, saw, it's so good. I saw Lovely Molly and I saw um, VHS three. Yeah. yeah, like you see some amazing horror films on the big screen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Plus, it's and a it's cool funny. place. So that, that, yeah. that's in Altamont Springs. Uh, Maitland. Maitland. Okay. Yeah, but um, they. It's so funny on the thirty day horror challenge when we do our little um, horror movie talks. We have a faux drinking game when I go, I saw it at the Indian, or you can see it at the Indian, because I say them so much. I love them. And by the way, I just added all their holiday films, their Halloween films. Nice. To the guide. They're uh, showing Hush Sweet Charlotte and Puppet Master 2 and The Blob. They've got some fun, really across the board movies for yeah. this season. I need, I need to. I've never seen any of those movies. Puppet Master? Yeah. They're, they're, they're kind of a deep cut. Puppet Master 2. Yeah, Puppet Master 2? Yeah, I've never seen any of those either. We got Girl, a... get your tickets early because yeah. you know they're at 50% yeah. capacity. But and it's just in a beautiful building it's with cool. beautiful trees. It's I love it. Oh, I think I know what you're We we got a question in the in the comments here. Um, where does she find all of her information? Do you have like a resource that you pull from or is this just like, Jeez. this is just like what you do? I wish I had a resource. Um, I hunt. She, she, is, I she is the resource. I hunt or I'll meet somebody and they'll tell me and then that person, you know, when I meet them will tell me 
but I really scour the internet and Facebook and everything because um, I love it. <laughs> I just, I want to find everything from the small little independent haunt to the great big, uh, you know, Halloween Horror Nights rest in peace. Uh, yeah, this year. So I wish that I wish that I had something that pulled it. But I, yeah, and I guess like we all, because we all like the same stuff, and you all, we all know the sim like similar people. I guess yeah. we can all find different things in the same yeah. people that share it, like online, totally. like on Facebook. Totally. And, and there's a lot of yeah. that, you know. I'll see Erica, that yep. girl, yep. post something, and I'll be Erica. like, oh. nope. yeah. yeah, and you know, or I'll see you guys post something. Mm -hmm. And I'll be like, oh, let me check it out, you know. And yep. and then yeah. of course there's always the groups that we all follow. Like you yeah. know, we all follow Sir Henry's Haunt Trail. We mm -hmm. all follow Halloween Horror yeah. Nights. Um, so but it's just learn. about getting the word out. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna share, share, the mm -hmm. share the love. Share the love. When I started the whole thing, in my heart, I was hoping that all of these places would reach out to me and gift me with their information. <laughs> no. <laughs> but I discovered in year two that that um, very rarely does that happen. So, um, so it is about looking. Sometimes it is like pulling teeth. It's like, yeah. give me the information. <laughs> like, yeah. I, I want to help yeah. you. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I'm, I've been waiting for almost a week now. Um, I don't want to get, because it sounds like I'm being negative, but uh, for like a pretty major event, I'm like, do you have a press release? <laughs> it's, you know, and they're like, oh, I'm working on it now. It's like, okay. <laughs> We all need the spooky stuff. Yeah. We need answers. We yeah. need answers. All the answers. Exactly. And let's face it, on a normal year, you have to plan your holiday, yeah. your Halloween season yep. months in advance yes. because there's only four weekends. Yep. Yeah. Right. So if you're an event that's only happening on the weekends, you're competing with every other event, plus okay. Halloween Horror Nights, plus Nikki's Not So Scary, plus SeaWorld Spectacular, yeah. plus Hallow Scream, plus more Manor, plus, you know what I'm saying? So to get everything in, you really have to strategize. Yeah, we have- so if you're uh, late getting your a, information out, yeah, I can't help you. We have a calendar. Like literally, we have like a like a spreadsheet calendar. We know normally by this time, I have my calendar planned completely right? through the end of October, yep. beginning of November. Yep. Um, and we also do a road trip, so we're gone a week out mm -hmm. of October, anyways. So that even compresses our schedule even more. But it's just like like even with the show, like like when we do our show, it's yeah. like we only have so many slots, and exactly. once those slots are filled, mm -hmm. that that's it, you know. Mm -hmm. yep. So. But you got one of the slots. I'm glad. I'm going to have to have you on. I know. We're going to have to do this like every year I so know. I can just like, yes. like tell us all the yeah. new things. Yes. I would love that. Anytime yeah. you need an extra voice, you call me. I might. I'm not shy. I might take that <laughs> I might be tech challenged, but I'm not shy. Uh, that's me. That's good, me too. Good. Yes. I, I love your enthusiasm. Yeah. yeah. So before, because we're going to show the... We're gonna show the directory in a moment because it's like a it's like a kind of like a blog, but it's got like everything. Yeah. Um. But you do you work for Orlando Fringe? You know what? What's I your do. role with Fringe? Like, what do you do there? Because I see you running around all over the place. Yep. <laughs> well, I have I think five different titles from Ambassador of Fringeness to Fringe Experience Liaison, um, and so. But my primary thing is I do work with the volunteers. But since the volunteers are in every single one of the programs at Fringe, I have to be in every single program to understand it so that I can put the right people. Um, but I love, love, love my Fringe family. Nice. It's, it's amazing. And I discovered Fringe when I was out clubbing <laughs> back in the 90s, uh, where I literally wandered into it. It was downtown. And I immediately took to it and it started coming like as a patron. I came back several times that year and then I volunteered and then I produced the show. I've acted in the show. Nice. Um, and <laughs> now I've, I'm working with, you have to flip the hair. That's I don't have the hair. Actually, you have to flip the hair. That's cute. Right yeah. I had dinner with Paul Rubens. Uh, flip the hair. He's rubbing it in. Oh. <laughs> Life goals right there exactly, i exactly. stared at him <laughs> I, I saw him from a distance i know I well, saw him what's, from a distance. what's funny is when i got the title the you know this is who we're working with yeah i was just like because paul rubens for me is i'm a fan 
Yeah, I, I, I don't oh, yeah. just see him as I am a fan. Yep. I, and Saturday. I said, you guys, I'm going to fan girl and just let me get through it. <laughs> and so when I first met him, I was just like, hi. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody around me after he left, they were just like, what just happened? <laughs> and I'm like, shut up. I told you I just needed to get that out and now I'll be fine. <laughs> And I totally was, yeah. um, but I totally fan. I've only fangirled. I'm only going to tell you about another one because the other one's embarrassing. Uh, Joe <laughs> from uh, True Blood. Okay. I totally fangirled over him. <laughs> but once I met him, I was totally fine. Yeah. I may have a picture hugging the chair that he sat in. <laughs> That's dedication. Right there, it's, right? it's the same thing. Right? Yeah. I hugged that chair so tight. <laughs> Just get a whiff of him. Awesome. Oh. him. He's so a perfect human being. <laughs> Physically, he's so nice. He's so intelligent. <sighs> <laughs> those are those fun moments. I miss those yes. moments. I feel like I should leave the room and you I guys know. just talk, <laughs> talk, talk amongst yourselves. Uh, but oh, but with, nice. um, with Orlando Fringe, because we go to the Fringe, we tend to focus on the more spooky, like like mm -hmm. the horror elements, like yeah. you know, like your um, uh, bloody bloody Andrew Jackson, Thanks Killing the Musical. We love the whole. Yes. Did you see Thirteen Dead, Dead Dreams of Eugene? That one I did not. <gasps> uh, I can't. When it comes back to town. Buy your tickets. One of my all-time favorite Fringe year. shows, and it will give you goosebumps. Nice. Oh, I got. I got to ask. This is this is a true fringe question for you. Uh oh. Favorite favorite snack? Because I because I, I think I know what you're gonna. Cheese curds. I know, right? <laughs> is there any, is curds. there anything else there? Those are yeah. delicious. Johnny introduced me to those when we went to fringe. And I absolutely you have love them. to. Yeah. Like, you, yeah, you have to have yeah. cheese curds at least. So good. Once during your fringe. Or once a day. Oh yeah, yeah. We we saw Showgirls. Showgirls was good. Showgirls musical. Uh, Showgirls musical. A animatronicans. Oh. I absolutely love, love animatronicans. That. I have to so say, good. That's probably. One I'm of my lucky enough to have I've seen, seen every one of them. And I've seen, nice. yeah, I've seen both right, of them. This needs to yeah. come back next year because mm -hmm. I need. You would have loved animatronicans. Is amazing. Oh, it's it so good. So good. Yeah. Yes. It's so good. It's so mm -hmm. smart. Yes. yes. The humor is so smart and so. Jeff Jones uh, is just yep. a yeah. hilarious person. Yep. And every person that was in that cast, perfectly cast and just amazing. It, it, Such a good. It's so relevant to this yes. era. And if you haven't seen the animatronicans, you could look up uh, some of the information online. But basically, it's like what the animatronics do that work at Disney and some other parks, uh, like when they're not working. Yeah. yeah. So, so it's, like it's, it's funny how they interact. It's like a so, golden girl. Yeah. 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 Animatronic. Yeah. yeah. It's an like animatronic uh, sitcom. And they make fun yes. of everything theme parks. And yeah. just, yeah. just yeah. so well done. Yeah. So, so relevant great. to this area. One of my favorite shows I've, I've probably yeah. never seen it at French. I Agreed. Yep. Yeah. Agreed. I loved it. And, and I've seen a lot. It's definitely mm -hmm. in my top 10 all time favorites. And I'm going to clump all three. So it doesn't take up but every single installment has been perfect it's been great yeah perfect and i heard um a florida man was there last year too i never got a chance to see that one <laughs> i heard florida man was good yes nice <clears throat> yeah so many good shows i mean yeah. we all we like to say that it's rated g to omg mm -hmm. yeah. and you can literally find a show about anything mm -hmm. nice. you know you want to see a historical drama we got it you want to see some boobs We've got it. I've seen, yeah. some yeah. I've seen, I've seen uh, everything. I'll, I'll be right there. I'll be on it. <laughs> yep, yep. Puppets, we got them. Puppets it cost. Yep. We got it. Yep. One man Star Wars. Oh my gosh, that was a good one, Charles. Oh, oh and the the one man Don seven Charles. one man seven samurai, uh, which was was it the same guy? Oh, no, I, not the same okay. guy. Because because that one was amazing. Those samurai. Oh my movies. god. Yes, it was. That's awesome. And he was in, if I remember right, he was in the biggest venue that we have at French, which holds, I think, 326. And to see one man hold everyone's attention, yep. it's something. It's mm -hmm. impressive. Nice. So good. All right, we got we got to change gears. Okay. okay. We gotta talk Where about, are we going next? We got to talk about some haunts. So it looks like you're from North Carolina, Jenny says. Yep. And so we are going through North Carolina. We're going to be doing Woods of Terror there on our road trip. Have you ever done that one? I've done many of the North Carolina haunts. Okay. I left North Carolina uh, right after, right, 
like when I was in my early 20s, oh, okay. and you guys are not going to believe this, but I was a huge scaredy cat. Well, listen, I think we all I, we, we I think we all started that way because I was definitely yeah. before still I and I still, I still am. But yeah, <laughs> and to this day, I still will not go through a carnival haunted house. So there's <laughs> something in my childhood trauma. Uh, that will not allow me to go through a carnival haunted house. I love I mean, yeah. Uh, but I didn't yeah. go through my first haunted house until, like, real haunted house until I was 17. Wow. And I was scared. And that was at Six Flags Over Georgia. So it really wasn't uh, a real haunted house. I've been I've been there for their, their Fright Fest thing. Yeah. yeah it's, this was just years. their regular little boat ride haunted house. And I was scared uh, yeah. of that. And then I didn't go through another one until I was 18. And that was the Haunted Mansion. <laughs> that I forced two additional people into the buggy with me, and I held their arms across me like this. I was like, like that, like that too. I was, I was scared of the Haunted Mansion when I was a kid. I was like wow. that too. Somebody, I was 15. Somebody, somebody I always that. loved Haunted Mansion though. But I turned the corner in college with terror on Church Street. Oh, mm. oh okay. It's the one and my roommate Orlando. at the time. Everybody on our show talks about terror on Church Street. Oh. Everybody. And apparently it was so amazing. And I yeah. Oh out. my God, it was. I, yeah, so my roommate at the time surprised me and um by this and she wouldn't tell me we were going and she took me down there and we got closer and then i tried to stay calm but what i didn't know is her boyfriend had gone up to the characters and said get that girl <laughs> and so all the characters kept like buzzing me you know and i was trying to stay calm because i know that when you scream they like it so i'm just like you know stay calm, <laughs> calm. but there was this hot vampire <laughs> and he kept coming up and i'm like yes <laughs> you can come you, you can, can touch a, me you can take a bite no. but then this awful horrid character walked around circles and was hitting me with his cane on my leg going i'm not gonna touch you i'm not gonna touch you and i freaked out and ran across orange avenue <laughs> wow was and it, then my, was, was my it? roommate and her boyfriend started getting into an argument and i'm like great you're gonna break up Aww. she's gonna kick me out i'm not gonna have a place to live oh, so i forced no. myself to go through it and i loved it the adrenaline oh, no. i just yeah and i went back three yeah. more times nice. and my next visit was halloween horror night and then hello yeah. so was that in the dan caro days of yes uh, i didn't know dan caro then but it was and love i loved dan. him so much yep dan <sighs> Dan Carroll, for those of you that have been around Orlando for a while, um, probably he did the Legends at Old Town, the one at, uh, that is now Morna Manor. Yes. Uh, he's working for Gatorland. So. Archibald Ashdown. I know. I, I actually have the Haunting of Old Town sign hanging in the studio really cool. right here. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, I got that's that from I love him. Uh, that's where I met him, mm -hmm. was at the media night for Legends. And just fell in love was, with him. Yeah, he's amazing. Is that the one that was touching my head? Is that that? Remember at Old Town? Uh, I showed you the old picture. Sounds maybe. like maybe. No, that's I, that's called? Ivan. Oh, Ivan. Oh, Ivan. Ivan. Puppet oh, child. Oh, I love Ivan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have oh. a picture with him. I just him. want to like fist bump him. All the people I love. I will tell you that Dan Carroll punched me in the face. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Uh, because I was in the haunt, and they would always do special <laughs> things like... for me. Like punch you in the face. <laughs> like punch me in the face, and like we were in that hallway with the body bags. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we just both oh, went the no. same way, and he just nailed me. <laughs> oh no! That's all good fun. Okay. I remember because they would yeah. come at you. Yeah. Oh yeah. Rocking. And of course yeah. they, because they knew me, because I would I would right. go like almost every other weekend. Yeah. Um. So I always got special treatment, little notes left for me. Thank uh -huh. God. That's kind of how we are. You get roughed yeah. up during, during spooky season. <laughs> yeah. So. I loved it. But it was it was great, and he felt so bad. And but I did think I'm like, oh my god, I think I'm bleeding, <laughs> uh, you know, because he's a big guy. Yeah. yeah. But I was not. I was fine. But I will cherish that punch in the face. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna tattoo the bruise on my face. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> we love Dan. And I'll tell you another. Like, I'm just I'm spilling my. That's why. That's why you're, uh, you're you're on story time right now. Yeah. I got to go to his birthday party. Oh, wow. And, you know, he held it at the haunt. Oh, and cool. they closed for the night. And he dressed up as Batman. And huh. many of the other people that worked there dressed as villains. And they were in the different rooms. And he would, and the lights were out. And he had to navigate the whole house and defeat the villains. Uh -huh. And there were a couple of us. My friend Nicole was with me because we weren't dressed. We were just there for the birthday party sitting in the chapel hmm. <laughs> in the pitch black oh, and wow. hearing all the <laughs> and it was so much fun 
That's ba so that's back when that place was like ridiculously haunted too. Oh yeah, yeah. I heard, yeah, that, I heard the stories. That's what I heard yeah. Too. yeah, all There's those some... props that used to be in there, all that stuff from the old Victorian like funeral homes or whatever. That place yeah. was that place was insane. Yeah, that part, yeah. That sign was outside. So I, I that, sign, the, um, that sign is not haunted, right? No, it's not. Okay, yeah. good. Uh, we did uh, <laughs> that we know of. Right yeah. before they shut down, we did one of the ghost tours at Old Town, and uh, I. I I made the mistake of being in that house, and I asked Dan. I was like, "So, Dan, I was like, anything creepy ever happened in this house?" He's like, "Sit down, let me tell you." And it was just mm -hmm. like story after story, and for years and years and years, up until recently, I kind of finally got over it. I was legitimately scared of that place. Cause, oh yeah. yeah, it's not. And like I said, try sitting in the chapel, no light, mm. no sound. Wow, that's creepy. Yeah. Like I didn't, I didn't get to do legend. I did Grim. I did Grim House before Legends. You never got to do yeah. Grim. I didn't get a chance to do Legends before it became Mortem Manor. So yeah, <clears throat> yeah. But Grim, I've done Mortem Manor. Was scary though. It was hard because you know I love Legends so so much. Yeah. But Mortem Manor has done a great job. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. They yeah. Did. I really, you know, I waited a while to you know the bumps, and then went in, and I was just like, yeah, I, I can't be mad. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they uh they actually just switched out a couple of their scenes. They're pretty cool. We were yeah. there last week, so check yeah, it out yeah, if you yeah, haven't yeah, heard anything. Yeah, they got yeah. some, some nice. couple new things. Yeah. So, uh, so do you? Uh, so I know you you do haunts and everything. Do you travel to do haunts? I do when I when I have the chance. Um, on a normal October, you know, I've got Spooky Empire. Yes. I often will have a fringe Halloween event. Mm -hmm. which limits my travel. But I have been able to go um, to Netherworld, which I love. Love yeah. So good. I can't wait. Um, I'm excited. We're going this year. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's my first, first time year. going in October. Oh, it's, it's amazing. I'm it's super, amazing. super excited. And also, another one that I've gotten to go to is the Mysterious Mansion in Gatlinburg. That's that's wait. on our list in, in Oh, November. my God. Yep. Was, so good. Yeah. yeah we know, so good. We know Tristan See, there. It's like an escape room and a haunted house. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. And, you know, it's kind of like in Legends where there's a few actors, but those actors know the ins and outs of that house so well that some of the things you'll experience, you'll you'll just stop and you'll be like, did, did, that, did that just happen? happen? <laughs> nice. Did, I mean, I don't want to give it away until yeah. you've gone through it. It is so good. Nice. So I've, awesome. I've been to that one and, uh, of course, Dread Hollow in Chattanooga. Um, I wish I got to travel more to the haunts um it might happen this year just because mm -hmm. i have no spooky and i have no fringe um so we'll see so but if there's ever haunts that are open year round i always will go oh yeah same awesome. same here well, yeah let's nice. let's start talking about your your um halloween guide orlando page let's yeah. do it That's okay huge so we're gonna get super fancy here hold on yes. one moment hold on the guy does not have the cute little ghost floating up the side. I know. Yet. Uh, <laughs> all right. So please work, right? You're going to work this time. My husband created it. He wrote all the magic code. There it um, is. So that I'm basically able to go in and write the information. Um, and it just, and I think we have a year showing. So the little dots that you see are like if you click on a dot that takes you to another time. Oh, a week. oh, oh my god! That's why yeah. I didn't know that. That's yeah, very cool. oh, I'm so glad you said that. And then you've got the scroll. I was what those dots are. That's really cool. I, which just that yeah, it just advances you forward. And then you've okay. got the scroll that just takes you through all the events. Uh, and people okay. like say Halloween's canceled. No, 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 it's no. not. It's not. There are lots of events right. that are continuing on oh, yeah. with safety precautions. Right. Right. Um, you just have to look. Yes. You know. Nice. Yep. A lot going on in the Tampa area. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We did. Yeah. Uh, we love Tang. We love Tang from America Ghost Adventures. I didn't know when about this Luby bat Bats thing. Luby bats is on my. Oh I my know. god. I want to go. I see just the love babies. animals as well. I, I want to go see the baby bats. I love. You bats. know, bats are like our spirit animals. Oh, they're so, so cute. Them. I call they're them sky, sky puppies. Sky puppies. Yep. Yes. They're yes. Sky puppies. Yep. They're adorable. But they have like tours, and then once a year That's they'll really have cool a too. special event. A Mount Dora. Uh, yeah, there's lots of ghost tours. Um, I would love to do another ghost there's tour. There's a thing in Tampa, right? The Tampa, um, there's that one, and then there's a tea party, a vampire. Yeah, I've got that on there. Yeah, I was going through. 
Uh, I did add because of COVID and a lot of the events, I did go in this year and add places that you can go to get that spooky vibe. So our yeah. friends at Coffee Shop of Pars, um, yeah, Johnny and Jenny Jonesy's. Been there. I been there yet. Yeah, so I added some shop in Bellish, which is a friggin' amazing yeah. shop. Yeah. So I added in shop and visit to the guide as well. Coffee Shop We're of still Wars working little right kinks Nighthawk. out of it. Uh, this is a re- this is like a just a ridiculous. This is like the I Halloween know. Bible in Look Florida. Look at this. <laughs> so oh, I know family. I don't, I don't, I don't it's wrong. virtual, but I love Scooby Doo. Oh, okay, Scooby Doo yeah. was my gateway yeah. drug, I think. Yeah. Oh, virtural yes. run. If it's okay, a virtual I one, can I just run. sit in my chair and like just drink water every once in a while and just <laughs> just have somebody like hand me a cup of water and. I don't know how I that well, would work. I mean, there, there, are, there are Halloween runs, like Halloween there are, and stuff. There are. And some do, are yeah. still waiting. Yeah. Um, usually the Hemphilia Association does a vampire run. There's a Monster Mash run. Ooh, um, there are run. quite a few, but I'm just not. I'll watch you. One thing is I am okay. waiting until I get the, <laughs> the official word. <laughs> We've got cocktails and screw. Vita Devoid will be in town and mm-hmm. doing some things at, at Cocktails and Scream. And I adore Vita. I yeah, adore she's Vita just Devoid. on uh, Erica's show, right? Yeah. Yep. She's amazing, amazing, amazing. Got that. I, Darwin and Wallace, so one of the things. best. I've never I even heard been of this place. Oh, well, they're normally they've been at Spooky Empire. Mm-hmm. Oh. And I actually had them. I think I, I know um, who that is then. <clears throat> I produced a aquatic art show and they brought in all these cool aquatic skeletons and wet specimens and then they did my Dia de la Mortes event oh, and switched cool. up the inventory and, and so they're really cool and now they have two physical locations that you nice. can visit them but they do the circuit as well. That's cool. But Stacey, yeah. he's just amazing and they're just such great. They're fans as well as sellers. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But they're not just in it to sell they're right. in it because they love it. they love it. it you can tell and that's nice. so good because then they really do their work well and mm-hmm. you know like when yeah they, when you love something too got a couple people in the chat what's up clan from throw geek what's up nicole what's up alexis you guys have any questions for dina put it yeah, on she knows all, hair is not real she knows all i watched and sees you get all. your hair done i saw on your page um the girl who was doing your hair it's still osborne yeah, Crystal, yeah. that's it that was pretty cool. I've been going to her for over 10 years. Wow. I've known her longer than my husband. <laughs> wow. She okay. knew me when I had brown hair. That's well, how long. <laughs> she's been amazing, going, and she's also an amazing artist. I've been slowly mm-hmm. going with the new colors. I've been doing, like, underneath. Versus... Girl, if you can do it, do it. Yeah, yeah like it's just work is a little there. funny. So. Those, those days are long past mm-hmm. for me. I just, that's all, <laughs> that's all I got. You could dye your beard. Thanks, genetics. <laughs> that's true. It's already orange. It's brand appropriate. Uh, yeah, I'm good. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> so you some... know, even on days where I feel like crap, mm-hmm. somebody will always say, I love your hair. And then instantly you're like, oh, oh it yeah. makes you feel better. It's true. Yes. Yeah. I've been at work and I've had somebody mm-hmm. say that too. And you're like, oh, really? Mine? Well, another pumpkin yeah. run. Is another pumpkin run. run. Yeah, yeah it's uh, another I, virtual. So I want to know about. One. I want to know about this, Dina. Slash that back um, to big house. Oh my God, you guys! This is like oh, one of my probably. favorite events. No, no, no. Yes. This is at uh, Colorado Fondue. It's okay. in Altamont area. It's a family-owned business, and the owner loves Halloween, so yeah, he does 80s. sixty days where he totally decorates his restaurant with amazing. Go. Oh my goodness! I want to go. We gotta go, they Jenny. Theme the fondue, they feed, theme the cheese, they theme I the saw, cocktails. I saw that. It is so much fun. Yeah. Now, you can't go if you're in a hurry because you're okay. going to talk and you're going to cook the cheese. Mm-hmm. Okay. It is so much fun. You yeah, got to go. We definitely right. Yeah, we, we got to make a trip. We'll yeah. Yeah, that is sounds he like open? a lot of fun. Well, well, I guess we'll have to find out if he's open every day. So, yeah, well, I don't know what they're, I don't know if they've changed their schedule, right. you know, much, but they are open. And then this it's is so, really and cool. it's delicious. It's Save great. room for the chocolate. Oh, There's haunted okay. love stories. <laughs> yeah, Sounds interesting. I think this oh, is the library. Is this virtual or is this at the library? This is virtual. Okay, done by or the library. You do have to have a library card, but they've got a whole series, and I'm really looking forward to. Yeah. Cool. Usually the library does a lot of events. Yeah. Sometimes they're just little 30 minute pop up events. Mm-hmm hour long for yeah, all ages give you a little um, fix for 30 minutes but we'll That's see fine. you know we'll see what they come out with this year but they do i do appreciate that they have the virtual so many things are going virtual this yeah. year yeah you know 
Oh. I don't know if you guys have tuned in. To, I know Johnny has Phantasmagoria. Oh, yep. every oh, yeah, yeah. they're every Sunday I show. I have never missed an episode. Yep. <laughs> I'm so in love with with Byron and Samarine. I have uh, to say, amazing. I've seen every one of their theatrical productions. I have never seen their live show. <gasps> I, I don't know what it is, but I I was always for whatever reason like the fringe schedule gods hated me because you know how i want to i have to drive in like a half an hour or an hour to right, get there right. i'm like i want to see this show this show and it just never worked out yeah so well, they also had their shows outside of fringe as well usually in october yeah we're, we're definitely gonna so be good. all over their virtual thing oh, coming yeah. up yeah definitely yeah. yeah and i got to see them in atlanta as well if you oh, to fringe. nice so i'm a big phantasmagoria yeah well, and lucky been, enough to have them part of some of the events that I've done as well. They're awesome. Uncomfortable brunch. That's part of the Indian. Um, sometimes it's not quite horror on the spot as much as horrific. Oh, yeah. Although Dead brunch. Ringers, of course, fits the horror. Yeah. Uh, but it's a Sunday brunch event. Oh, okay. Nice. Oh, we should yeah. definitely hit that up. Mm -hmm. There's another library event. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I think that's the high, Oh, that's the high tea. Oh, yeah, about. that is. Yep. That's the very yeah. one. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, right but there. it just goes on and on. It yeah. does. Yeah, it, it does. goes, it on, goes forever. on and on. <laughs> it does. I think right now my last event is uh, Spooky Empire in April. I, yeah, so you, got, you guys got a bookmark, Halloween Guide Orlando. And then also I've got your social media information on here. I want to make sure I show that before I forget. Um, give me one second here. Boop. And boop. All right, so... HalloweenGuideOrlando.com, bookmark it. And then here is all of their social media information. Um, Halloween or HalloweenGuideOrlando.com, Facebook, uh, Halloween Guide Orlando, Instagram, which you have like a huge, huge following on Instagram, uh, which I is do. awesome. Uh, so that's that's good. Now, how many... I wish my other ones could come up to my Instagram, but I love, you know. And I've got a Twitter, too, which is Halloween Orlando. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I guess cool. I should have dug a little deeper. Because I, I, okay. I was trying to look for Halloween Guide Orlando and find it. So. Yeah, for some reason, it was like too many letters or something weird. Gotcha. Oh, okay. Now, um, Jenny has the last question here that we have. Well, I'm going to do a two-part really quick. I just want to okay. know how many years you've been doing the Halloween Guide um, webpage, as well as do you have any other team members? It's just me. Okay. What? Um, I do have wow. some friends wow. that, like, if I can't go to something, okay. I will send them. Because I did meet somebody, and they yeah. said they were going for you. I met him at, yeah. Yeah, um, at an event. James Dillman, I've sent out on assignment. My friend Joy, my friend Omar. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> so if I can't go to something, I, I have what I call my Halloween fun squad. <laughs> um, and I'll send them because, nice. you know, I want coverage. If yeah. I can't go, I want to go to everything. Oh, yeah. yeah, like I have my first conflict already for this October. Oh no! Two yeah. different events. Yeah, two different media mm -hmm. events. So you need to clone. You, know, you need to, to clone covered. yourself, obviously. <laughs> right. Um, but I, as far as the actual running of the guide and the Facebook and everything, it's just me. Wow, that's, that's very impressive. Very awesome. Yeah, very but awesome. you know, I work for myself, so I kind of have, in a way, that luxury. Oh, so you have the, you have the time. But how many yeah. years have you been doing it? Well, I worked for Fringe for four years. I'm going on my fifth year. Spooky Empire for ten years. <clears throat> no, the Halloween not... Guide. Yeah, Halloween act... Guide. Well, I think I. It started on a friend's blog where he had four events listed as Halloween, and I'm like, uh, no, no, no. And so I did it on his page for a while, and then it just got too big, and we decided to you know split it because it was getting too big like it was becoming as big as the site that you make. so since 2014 but if you look okay. around you can find actually physical hard copies of the halloween guide <clears throat> which was run with the daily city oh nice there was a page well just because i know i've been following you for a while even before i was a part of haunt scene and but I just didn't remember the year too. But I used to yeah. look up stuff to look to do with my daughter on there, <laughs> and other things. But it just mm -hmm. I love that it has everything. Yeah, yeah. everything. Because I love everything. Yeah, I love you know I love that the library has little do it yourself yeah. make wish pom poms yeah. for mm -hmm. the noodles. You yes. know, because yeah. we've got the next generation coming up. Yeah, yeah. We gotta yeah. make them spooky. Exactly. <laughs> spookiness. And I love I love 
Hocus Pocus as yeah. much as I Same. love Texas Chainsaw Same. Massacre. Yeah. Same here. Know? Same here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm all about the Disney and and, and the horror. Oh, I love you know it. Me? So yeah. My latest face mask that I got is Disney villains. Oh yeah. I love the Disney villains. It's in yes. my car. Otherwise, yeah. I'd show it. Uh-huh. <laughs> you. But yeah, I just love it. I haven't met a Halloween event that I didn't like. That's Any good. of the ones that aren't perfect, I'm like, you know what? Yay. Same. Because it's Same somebody's here. favorite. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just yeah. like every movie out there is yeah. somebody's favorite. That's true. So I'm all about it. Halloween forever. See, I, I I like Halloween in general, so I like anything Halloween related. Right. To me, so yeah, it's it's all great in my eyes. So. And I truly, you know, those memes that are out, it's, it's spooky time, time to get Halloween uh-huh. uh, home decor. It That's a hundred percent me. Same. Yeah. I keep right. my skeletons up year round. Yeah, me too. I keep my pumpkin up year round. But like I'll take my skeleton and I'll put a Santa hat on it. Yeah, or each I do that ears. too. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I have and my one. husband pretty much has come to the to the realization that it's always <laughs> it's always gonna be <clears throat> Halloween. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Halloween life. My, my my mom's the same way. She accepts my, oh, my yeah. Halloween my addiction. kids yeah. now as well. <clears throat> I even have like at the front door. We just I just got my house painted and I changed lights and when you walk in, it has a Halloween. Uh, Matt and then like Halloween stuff on the side and I'm keeping up year around. Heck yeah. <laughs> it was cute when I met the kids in the neighborhood. They're like, You really like Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, Yeah. And I felt so bad because that that year was when Spooky was on Halloween. Uh, <clears throat> so we they spent a whole year watching my house with skeletons and yep. you know, pumpkins, and then to come to the big night. Yeah. Mm. And I wasn't here, I but know. I made them all goodie bags. Like I made uh, like 30 goodie bags and gave them to awesome. my next door neighbor. And I'm like, please, please make sure that the kids I know uh, and the kids I don't know get goodies. Uh, Cause I give out the good candy. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Don't be one of those that yeah. give out like a, like a little tinfoil thing of five like pennies. Apples. Yeah. And raisins. <laughs> yeah. A toothbrush, and, apple. A a toothbrush and toothpaste. <laughs> yeah. some paper and a pencil. That's awesome. But I also make sure that I have non-candy things for kids with allergies. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen the teal pumpkin project. Look yeah. that up. Okay. You're supposed if you display a teal pumpkin, that lets parents know that have kids with special allergies? needs and allergies that you have oh, Halloween wow. goodies for them. Oh, Do you cool. know I've seen those pumpkins on the mailboxes mm-hmm. and I yeah. never understood that. Oh. Yep. oh it's that's something cool. that's near that's and dear to really my heart. I didn't yeah. know that. It's pretty cool. It's yeah, really cool. I've yeah. seen them lately. They had all the mailboxes had like a different colored pumpkin. Some of them did. They were either now, I don't know if teal. that yeah. means anything else, but I do yeah. know that the teal pumpkin. Okay. Uh, and like I said, look it up. Teal Pumpkin Project okay. will give you all the information. Oh, okay. okay. But I, Halloween for everybody. Yeah, absolutely. Nice. Yeah. Well, it. it's about that time. I can't believe we did it. That, yeah. I, I'm pretty I sure like that was the fastest episode we've ever done. <clears throat> Dina, I'll be messaging you later with yeah. more questions. Let's do it again next week. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> Once a week. Once a week. Not with our week. schedule. I mean, if you want to do it on, at like a Saturday Dina, at like 5 o'clock in the morning. Week. <laughs> <laughs> well, anytime you have somebody drop out, you call me. I might have I'm sure I'll have something to talk about. Perfect. Let's go to coffee shop of horrors, get some coffee. Right. Yeah. Right? Some tea with some have vampires. you had their coffee ice cream? I, their chocolate yes, coffee ice I, cream? Listen, my... Oh. old roommate works there so let me tell you i've been a million times i've had all their stuff and i because i'm gonna tell you a secret i don't like coffee really but i will sit underneath that coffee chocolate ice cream and just eat my ice. daughter doesn't like <laughs> coffee and we go and she'll drink coffee there or she'll get like the shake you know when they mm-hmm. do the yeah. ice cream and the shake yeah it's so yeah good. they've proven me wrong many times yes Every time I tell them I don't drink coffee, they're like, but wait. And they'll but tell wait, you, they'll have you try something this. else. Yeah. They have great yeah, coffee. That's 100% I've coffee. Tried it. Yeah. I've tried it in like your Empire. Line. It's great. The banana one is my favorite, though. I like the banana nut. It's my favorite. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Awesome. The BJ? Yes. So good. <laughs> it yes. is. It's, it's the Beetlejuice. Yes. It's yes, called it the BJ. Yes. Just be quiet, Johnny. Appropriate. Just be quiet. <laughs> uh, after, uh, after I mean, I mean this year with Beetlejuice. We're moving into the after hour show. Yeah, yeah right. It's <laughs> after dark. Yeah, yeah right yeah. after nine. Yeah. This is where you got to swipe your credit card. Thanks, mom. <laughs> my mom. My mom just said awesome show. So I was, oh, yeah. thank him. Thanks, mom. mom. <laughs> Yeah, thanks for having me. Oh, yes. you're welcome. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. I, 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 I'm, I'm even more excited about Halloween now. Oh, my thank God. You. Yay! I 
I feel that's like what it's about. I'm stalking your page to... tonight too. I'm doing more investigations because I've seen a few things that I'd like to do yeah. like on the yeah. side. But yep. Yep. so Halloween Guide Orlando Make sure yeah. you guys bookmark that, hit that up, and definitely follow uh, Dina on social media. Yeah, uh, and my personal social media is Dina Bina okay. across Dina everything, Bina. even Pokemon. Okay. That's so fun That's to say. Dina, Dina, Dina Bina. Dina Bina. Hey. Dina Bina. Yeah. <laughs> it just stuck. And I'm like, it, like it. it flows. Yeah. It has a good rhythm to it. It works. Exactly. Yeah. Nice. All Yay. right. Uh, any any last minute shout outs or anything? You, you want to say hi to anybody other than just America in general? Hi, Mom. Oh, I'm missing all of my spooky people from my volunteers I see every year and to the, the core staff and just missing everybody and even though i'm okay with some changes of covid like i'm glad that we're washing our hands more and i'm and i'm okay with strangers not hugging me because that can be an issue sometimes <laughs> but i do miss everybody yeah. and everybody's faces yeah okay. yeah i don't want to say any specific names because that'd be rude you can talk about me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we can, yeah. That's okay. Just just a blanket, you know. Yeah. Yes. Everybody. Just all the spooky That's fair people. Enough. You know who you are. Exactly. <laughs> and I mean you specifically. You. Did you know I'm pointing to you? We love you, Dina. All right, Dina. Thank you so much. Thank uh, hang, yes. out, hang out on the call for us. I'm going to go ahead and mute you. We just got to do a little bit of an announcement, and we'll be right back with you, okay? All right. All right. Thank After you. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Oh right, that was a that was literally like I said that was the quickest Woo. show we've ever done. That was yes. like, such a fun that show. That felt like it was yeah. like fifteen minutes, and I'm looking at the clock, and it's like like five minutes till, yeah. and I'm like, yeah, I love her. Yeah, she's amazing. She's so full. I, I, I she's filled great. with so oh my much goodness. She's really great. cool. She's so enthusiastic. I know, I right? It. It's like infectious. Uh, she gets you. Ah, I'm, I'm even we're more excited for Halloween now. Halloween, yes. I love it. Let's go do haunts right now. Let's go right now. Right All right, show. Let's go. <laughs> All right, we got we got to wrap it up, everybody. Uh, Jenny, thank you for stopping by. Thank yep. you for putting together the questions. Melissa, thank you for as always. Mm -hmm. um, next week on the show, we do have a very special guest. Uh, Jenny actually hooked this up, and this is yeah. um, this is going to be a reschedule because um, a couple weeks ago I was in the hospital, and uh, so we're going to have uh, Mike Beers and company on for Monster Mailman that make all these really cool horror miniatures, and even better, they're from the future because they're from New Zealand. They are. So uh, they'll, they'll be like 12 hours ahead of us. Yep. So, uh, and I, I, I just love hearing their accents. So I'm really excited about that. Mm -hmm. I especially um, like their accents. So that is going to be on <laughs> Thursday. Remember, uh, almost every week in September, we're doing a show on Tuesday. And we are also doing a show on Thursday as well. So it'll be 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Um, when you're not watching us, make sure you guys are watching uh, Horror Haps, even the Dead Girl. Make there sure you guys go. are watching uh, Scurry Face. Make sure you're Tyler. watching haunted honeymooners uh there's a lot of good stuff out there leading into the spooky season so uh that's gonna be it for this uh episode so uh we'll see you in two days we'll see you see you yeah, less, like less than we'll two see days. You thursday night yeah. yes all right jenny so we're gonna we're gonna do our send off here till next time spook easy and happy haunting have a good night all right bye, bye, -bye. jenny you need a tagline <laughs> i i don't have a tagline Give me some treats.